Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe at Indian Defense Conclave 2022 in Dwarka. And I'm here right now with Mr. Brijesh Maglani, who is the strategist with Force Point. Welcome, Mr. Brijesh. It's a pleasure to have you at the ADU's chat room. And uh, the session today, I begin with asking you what exactly Force Point is, the company, what it's doing. So Force Point as a company is a global user data and edge protection company. We are based out in Austin and we have a presence across 155 countries across the globe. In India, we are here from last 20 plus years and serving the global governments, uh, Indian governments, critical infrastructures and enterprise segments and pretty much dealing in cyber security space uh, to secure any organizations from cyber attacks, uh, data exfiltrations and any kind of an insider threats, uh, breaches which are happening. Right. So how is Forcepoint, uh, what exactly it is doing with the Indian uh, Defence Forces, how you are connected with the Indian Defence Forces? So Indian Defence, uh, as I mentioned, we are focusing on the global government. So uh, across the globe, we are associated with Indian Defence. We being previously a part of Raytheon also understand the culture of the Indian Defence. So typically what we are doing, there is a transformation which is also happening in an Indian Defence uh, where there is a convergence which is happening between their separate networks which are still air gap. And they want the security in place so that those informations which are getting exchanged between different assurance level of networks between low and high assurance, we bring a security to it. And that's where we are helping them in securing those information exchange gateways, securing them over the data uh, communications, and also helping them in understanding what are the insider threats which are typically prevalent within the Indian uh, defense organizations. Right. Now, Indian defense, Indian defense organizations are really close-knit and a secure platform. So a company like Forcepoint, how do you wish to penetrate in that? So I think uh, uh, one, we go and engage directly and then uh, events like Defence Conclave is the right uh, platform where we go and discuss what we have proven uh, across the globe and uh, address some of the key and niche areas within the defence segments and focus on uh, securing certain uh, highly critical data exchanges like airspace data exchanges, surveillance cameras data exchanges. So that's the platform we typically go and use and we also run certain workshops with Indian Defence because there are certain uh, products which are getting consumed uh, within the Indian Defence. So those are the typical mediums uh, which we go and use where we say how we are securing the defence systems and addressing the national states like uh, attacks and securing them uh, mm -hmm. whole to whole end to end for them. So as you mentioned, you already have certain of your some of your products which are already incorporated with the Indian defence system? Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. can you tell us about them? So uh, there are a few products, we call them as a cross-domain solutions. Uh, mm -hmm. Cross-domain solutions are purely uh, created keeping in mind that if there are highly critical infrastructures and these are information which needs to be exchanged between those infrastructures, uh, those solutions are typically aligned to them. Uh, typic take an example of Data Guard as a solution. Uh, it helps in uh, connecting two separate air gap seg segments and still maintaining the security within that. As simple as that, for example, if there is a uh, there is an API call which is happening between an application and the intranet system, we go in between and see whether those API calls not bringing any malwares. Or to that level, we are also securing them in kind of any kind of a steganography malware attacks, where the uh, steganography mediums images are used for launching a malwares. And any organization which typically works in highly, uh, you can say, uh, highly viewable images like your airspace systems and all mm -hmm. those images can be used for launching a malware attack so we have a solutions like cdr as a solution which disarm uh, those uh, things and provides you an image which is 100 percent malware free so those are the few technologies which we are already uh, securing the defense segments right uh, in today's presentation of uh, ddg it's uh, major general bakshi he talked a lot a uh, lot of aspects of the cyber security and how indian defense is uh, try to handle them to counter them so what's your take on that 
So I think the good part is, uh, which I've understood from them, and I think he emphasized on that, that everyone uh, of us needs to contribute to a national security, right? Mm -hmm. So if we are getting something over our social platforms, and he also talked about the different organizations within the Indian defense, which are coming in the view of a PMO or a national uh, security agencies yeah. are purely driving towards uh, securing the content on the OTT platforms or securing the social platforms and focusing on the areas where a, a individual user or a, uh, you can say, a, a person, an individual person in a country is getting associated. So which I liked it because there is a there is a there is a view there is a mind share which is there with the government and the good part is government and defense are collaborating to bringing those security aspect and addressing it on the national level. That's a that's a learning which I have got from that particular session. Great. So overall, uh, your presence in the Indian Defense Conclave, how do you take it as? So I think we are honored to be associated with the Defense Conclave and always. Uh, wants to be part of this whenever uh, it will come uh, because it brings one the awareness uh, between different entities we also learn multiple things of the defense and defense also get to get the view of the cyber space where we are focusing on so it's a good platform where uh, the amalgamations has been done between two separate things one coming from a vendor side and understanding the pain area of a customer and customer also understanding how the innovation has been happening in the cyber security world so it's a, it's a good platform to be always associated with Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Meglani. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Same. And I really hope uh, the post point, whatever uh, kind of solutions it's, try it's making and it's going forward in the future to present to the Indian Defense Forces, it works well. Thank Absolutely. you so much Absolutely. for your time. Thanks.